guys, and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So this is the last video. I promise that you will see me look like this. Um, today on my March TBR for you, it is totally 100% tentative. We saw what happened with my February where I kind of threw everything to the wind. Um, some of the books have made their way back to this pile. Um, others are kind of back to the back burner again. I also pre-ordered so many books that are coming this month and so I might want to read those. You never know. So I have a tentative pile. It's a big tentative pile but it gives us options that I will probably ignore. Just kidding. Um, I don't know what happened last month, but I feel like if I actually look, I did attempt a lot of the books that I said I was going to attempt, I think. But I also did just pull everything and said I'm going to try. So, we'll see. Last month I read a bunch of books. I think I read 15. And it's February 27th, so I might still get... I'm currently reading this. I just mentioned that in a video. So this one would be book 16, which I also realized after I finished filming that that I forgot to mention an ebook that I read last month, slash February, uh, which was... Oh, glare, sorry. I'm trying to get it. Not to glare at you. All of Me by Lisa Renee Jones. This is the last book in a series where, no joke, I own all of them. They're, like, above me. There is a five-book series, and I read all five in physical book, but the sixth one they never released in physical form. So I had to read the ebook, so I finally sucked it up and read it yesterday. So I actually read that in February as well. So yeah. Um I read those books. I DNF'd three. Um two which I've unhauled, one which I have kept because I have a feeling I still might want to read it. Um uh, give it another chance. And then the rest were just kind of Put back on my shelves and we'll see what happens. So these are the tentative books, like I said, long story short, that I want to potentially read this month if other books don't get in the way or whatever. So let's just get started. Um, I would love to read The Dazzling Heights by Catherine McGee. I know that the next book doesn't come out till this summer, I believe, but I like really want to read this. <laughs> this is the second book to um, The Thousandth Floor, and I really, really like The Thousandth Floor, so I'm hoping that I will like this one as well, so that way I can prepare for the third book that's coming out this summer. Um, I would also really like to get to Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, because this has been on my shelf for a while, and I want to know if I need to pick up the rest of the books or not. Um, it's really out of my comfort zone, but I'm hoping that I will still enjoy it, because everybody else loves it, so I'm hoping to love it too. And these covers are fantastic. And I would also like to read Scythe by Neil Schusterman. This has been on my shelf for a while. I know Thunderhead just came out. This is another book that's totally probably out of my comfort zone. So I'm hoping I like it. It's also signed. Not to me. But that's okay. Um, I got this book at um, my library bookstore last year. And it was already signed. So <laughs> that was a bonus. So I would love to read this one. Um... I would like to get to The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. Um, I read a Kristen Hanna book in January. I read a Kristen Hanna book in February. So why not read a Kristen Hanna book in March? That would be awesome. Maybe I need to start a new trend. Um, I've been reading a lot of... No, I haven't really read a lot of historical fiction this month like I wanted to do. But um, it's kind of put me in the mood to possibly finally pick up The Zookeeper's Wife by Diane Ackerman. Um... A lot of the books that I've been reading have been World War II and things like that, so I would love to pick up this book. This book is also taunting me because it is free to watch on TV right now, um, at least with my cable subscription, and I don't want to watch it until I read this first. So I need to get to this. This actually isn't as bad as I thought it was because I looked in the back. There's a huge index. There's a bibliography. There's details. So really, when it comes down to it, this book is only like 320 pages, so it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So maybe this month I'll finally get to it. I would love to get to One With You by Sylvia Day. This is the final book in the Crossfire series, so I would love to just knock out another series and finish something else, and why not do it with this one? I didn't get to Two by Two last month by Nicholas Sparks and Lilac Girls by Martha Hall R Kelly, and these are probably my two biggest regrets of what I didn't get to. I mean, granted, they're fat, and I got into the contemporary thought and things like that, but these are my two biggest regrets of last month, so they're my goal to read this month. And then my last book, I don't know if I want to read it this month. I might save it for April when, like, we have April break, but 
I have the final book of the Palm South University. This is season three by Candy Steiner. I don't know if I want to save it for April break-ish time or like maybe it'll feel like fun. I don't know. <laughs> but um, definitely want to either get to this book this month or next month because I have a feeling that I just want to know what's going to happen to these characters like ASAP after finishing the second book this month. So we'll see. So those are the books that I'm hoping to get to. Like I said, things might change. I have a lot of books coming in. I have three books that are coming in between tomorrow and Monday. And then I have a bunch that are like sprinkled throughout the rest of March. So I'm probably going to just save my book haul till the end of March because I think I'm trying to do a no by the rest of the March things. So like I'm okay with what I've already pre-ordered but I don't want to buy anything additionally to that. Except, do you know, so Aaron Watt posted a picture saying that their book is being released March 1st. And I've been trying to pre-order that book since I finished um, Fallen Air. I've been trying to find out on Amazon, and it's still not there. So how is it being released in like two days, but isn't anywhere to pre-order? If you know the answer to that, please let me know, because I am like freaking out because I've been trying to pre-order it and trying to pre-order it and it's nowhere and then it says it's coming out March 1st but I still can't find it still can't find it so it's still gonna count like if it comes out this month I am totally buying it even though I'm on my no buy because I've been trying to pre-order it since Fallen Air came out so if you know please let me know down below and I will see you guys hopefully a lot sooner than this past time and I won't have to bombard you with three videos in a row. So <laughs> I will see you guys very soon. Bye, everybody.